Hello family, welcome. See, do you have those overripe bananas sitting on your countertop or in your pantry and you just want to throw them away? Please don't. Look at this freshly baked. Oof, look at that vapor coming out. This is just straight from the oven. See, let's do some baking, y'all, and you will not regret it. Look at how soft and juicy this looks. Mm, so moist and so soft i just feel like devouring look at that can you beat that please let's get cooking okay okay so i thought i was recording but i wasn't so i already preheated my oven at the 350 degrees fahrenheit and then i went ahead and rubbed some butter on my baking pan now i'm mashing my bananas i'm mashing four overripe bananas and now we are going to mix all the dry ingredients together in a bowl add your two cups of sift all-purpose flour and then half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of baking powder half a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of cinnamon for some flavor mm. cinnamon mm -mm -mm -mm. mix this very well because you do not want salt sitting on the side and baking soda on the other side so you want to mix properly and now we are going to cream our sugar and butter so add a stick of sh uh, unsalted butter in your bowl and then use a hand a mixer or a hand wix or whatever if you want to use it just make sure it is well creamed and the sugar grains cannot be filled you first start by creaming half a cup of white sugar and when it's well creamed and do not forget to clean the side of your bowls always you want to clean in intervals or occasionally making sure everything is clean nice and neat and now we are going to be adding some half cup of brown sugar a half cup of brown sugar okay cream that very nicely and make sure it is well combined and everything is creamed so well okay family so we are going to be adding two eggs you want to crack your eggs open is baking with me so you crack your eggs open and then mix very very well to combine and do not forget to always clean the side of your bowl while you're working you want to keep everything nice and clean please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you're still watching me to this stage or to this level it means you're enjoying what you are seeing please join the community join this family today because he wasn't feeling too well so we are baking together so now mix everything very nicely and fine you want to make sure you mix it gradually i insist and i decided to switch to my hand using a spatula because i really want to get the feeling of it and i do not want to probably mix my batter at the same time i just want it right not to like overwork it yeah i don't want to overwork it so now we have the remaining one makes a very 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 well still cleaning our bowls at all times keeping everything together neat and nice and so see i'm already salivating already why we are still mixing is it 
with some baking sheet because I did not want my banana bread to be too burned underneath. So I went ahead and laid it. And this is a very big pan. If you don't have a big pan, you can as well divide this into two and use two smaller pans. But I had a big pan and then I just went ahead and used my big pan, making sure all the angles, everything is nice and you want to make sure it is filled in all angles. You don't want to bake your banana bread and you have some parts are opening and laughing and looking at you in your face. <laughs> and now we are going to pop this in the oven for one hour, five minutes because my pan is big and I want everything well baked. Oh my goodness, after an hour and five minutes, Look at the deliciousness we got. This is, mm, it looks so good. Please tell me in the comment section how your turn is like. I want to hear all about it, about your experience. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in my next video.